Since 2006, The CW has broadcast dozens of hit programs. Now it's time to rank our favorites. He was looking for the girl next door. Instead, he found me. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 CW shows of all time. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most successful and beloved shows in the history of the CW network. I'll do better. I promise. Number 10, America's Next Top Model. One of the longest running reality TV series of all time, America's Next Top Model became a member of the CW family when its former network merged with the WB in 2006 to form the CW. Y'all better work it, girls. The show would enjoy its best years while operating under the CW flag, stepping up its game by including even more celebrity guests, as well as well-known figures from the world of fashion and beauty. Today you're gonna be put to the ultimate test. The show, which was hosted by former model and actress Tyra Banks, pitted aspiring models against each other in a competition to see who would take home the title of America's Next Top Model. Be okay, quiet, but Tiffany. Everybody, be quiet! Look. That's what is I'm wrong with you. Act, but you're not Stop it! In 2016, the show started airing on VH1 and was hosted by singer Rita Ora, but Banks announced her return to the show in March 2017 for Cycle 23. Congratulations, Keith. You're still on the running towards becoming America's Next Top Model. Thank you. Number 9, The Flash. You're no longer you now. You're part of something greater. You're part of a speed force. The Flash is a superhero drama based on one of DC Comics' most popular and enduring characters, Barry Allen, also known as The Flash. In this version, Allen is a crime scene investigator operating in fictional Central City, who gains superhuman speed after being struck by lightning. With his newfound powers, Allen becomes the superhero known as The Flash and uses his skills to fight crime. The show, which is a spin-off of Arrow, another CW property, was an instant hit with fans and critics alike, with the pilot episode garnering the second most views of any premiere in CW history. If I see you again, you're dead! If you're a superhero junkie, then this show is definitely for you. You wanna be a hero? <laughs> Heroes die. Only if you can catch them. Number eight, iZombie. Fresh brains, anyone? If you're looking for a zombie-themed show that doesn't take itself too seriously, but still has all the flesh-eating madness of The Walking Dead, then iZombie is for you. Ah! Make more now, bitch. It's loosely based on a comic book series of the same name, and stars Rose McIver as Olivia Liv Moore, which is a bit of a misnomer considering she's an undead zombie who works at the morgue to feed her insatiable need for brains. So we're both zombies? Oh, and each brain she eats allows her to see how that particular person died. Hooked yet? The show has been on the CW since 2015 and shows no signs of slowing down. Whatever happens now, I hope you can forgive me. I doubt humanity is going to tell her what you what? Did. what did you do? Number seven, One Tree Hill. I want to have everything with you. I want it all. Set in the fictional town of Tree Hill, this show began as a straightforward teen drama, but as the characters aged, it began to deal with more complex and mature storylines. Stacked from top to bottom with a cast of talented, not to mention attractive, stars, the show would last for nine seasons. You're my best friend and I would never cut you out for a guy. Okay, no matter who he is or how happy he makes me. Like many of the shows on this list, One Tree Hill joined the CW when the WB and UPN merged back in 2006. It would go on to become one of the network's most popular and longest-running series. I didn't know. <sighs> Come on. Please, you gotta believe me. It was also nominated for many Teen Choice Awards during its run, and took home the statue for Choice Throwback TV Show in 2017. Stay with me tonight. Oh, I was hoping you would say this. Number six, Smallville. So what are you, man or Superman? I haven't figured it out yet. One of the first and longest running superhero dramas on television, Smallville burst onto the scene in 2001 and stuck around for an impressive 10 seasons. The show focused on a teenage Clark Kent, also known as Superman, as he struggled to come to terms with his superhuman powers 
while growing up in the not-so-quiet town of Smallville, Kansas. Wait. Who are you? Lois. Lois Lane. Throughout its run, the show averaged approximately 4.34 million viewers per episode and took home a number of awards, including three Emmys. It was so well received that even former Superman Christopher Reeve agreed to make a couple of guest appearances. Yes, well, I know what I'm after. But what do you expect to find? Number five, Jane the Virgin. Jane, Gloriana, Villanueva, will you? Michael, I'm pregnant. Hold on to your hats, because the plot of this CW show is straight up bonkers. A religious young woman who's vowed to remain a virgin until marriage has her life turned upside down when her doctor artificially inseminates her by mistake during a gynecologist appointment. The reason the test came back positive is I accidentally inseminated you two weeks ago. You what? The show turned out to be a massive critical and commercial success, thanks in large part to lead actress Gina Rodriguez's performance, something that earned her a Golden Globe for Best Actress in 2015. Will you read my work and consider me for the seventh showcase slot? Sure. The show's first two seasons actually have perfect scores on Rotten Tomatoes as of October 2017. Now that's impressive. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> Number four, Gilmore Girls. Rory, please put down that cup of coffee. You do not want to grow up to be like your mom. Sorry, too late. For seven seasons, fans watched as single mother Lorelai Gilmore did her best to raise her daughter Rory in the fictional small town of Stars Hollow, Connecticut. Boy, with the poodles already. The show was widely praised for its seamless blend of drama and comedy, as well as for its sharp dialogue and numerous pop culture references. Because I love you, you idiot. While Gilmore Girls may only have appeared on the CW for one season, that's good enough for us. Nowadays, the show is considered one of the best of the 2000s. And in 2016, fans got to return to Stars Hollow thanks to a four-part miniseries released on Netflix. If I take a chance on Rory Gilmore, what am I getting? What? Number three, The Vampire Diaries. I'm Elena. <sighs> I'm Stefan. The CW knew it had a hit on its hands from the moment the pilot episode of The Vampire Diaries hit the airwaves. The show's first episode was the largest premiere for a CW show in network history, with the first season ultimately averaging 3.6 million viewers per episode. God, we shouldn't have to forget this. But you do. The Vampire Diaries focused on the exploits of Elena Gilbert, a teenager who enters into a love triangle with two immortal vampires. Why are you here now? I could ask you the same question. However, I'm fairly certain your answer could be summed up all into one little word. Elena. The show took home numerous awards during its run and sparked one of the hottest questions in TV history. Are you Team Damon or Team Stefan? The show proved to be so popular that a spin-off series called The Originals was released in 2013. Are you going to help me? Whatever it takes. Number two, Gossip Girl. You're gonna have to tech out by yourself. I have an army to build, a school to take over, and girls to blackmail. Gossip Girl's ratings may not have blown anyone away during its six season run, but its cultural influence cannot be denied. Serena, you're the most beautiful, amazing, alive person I've ever known. The show, which followed a group of wealthy Manhattan teens whose lives are constantly being scrutinized by a mysterious blogger known only as Gossip Girl, influenced dozens of films and TV shows, and is often credited with helping to popularize mobile communication. So you're saying Gossip Girl's a senior like us? Well, if she's a senior, then did that mean she's in the room right now? From a fan standpoint, Gossip Girl was an overwhelming success, taking home 18 Teen Choice Awards during its run. You can't bring up the CW without mentioning this iconic teen drama. Your world would be easier if I didn't come back. That's true. But it wouldn't be my world without you in it. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. No, Percy, it's yours. And you just made it. I don't know, Veronica. I track down the bad guys, call you, you make the bust. You know what that makes everyone, Sax? A winner. Any last words? Not for you. Number one, Supernatural. I'm Batman. 
Supernatural has been one of the CW's flagship shows for more than a decade. And for good reason. The series follows Sam and Dean Winchester, two brothers who travel from town to town hunting evil supernatural creatures. Who's murdering the angels? How are they doing it? <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you? Yeah, I do. Supernatural is the longest-running live-action fantasy series in American TV history, with its 13th season premiering in 2017, making it all the more surprising that there was a time when it was at risk of being cancelled. Well, we know a little about a lot of things, just enough to make us dangerous. The show has won numerous awards during its run, and has spawned multiple spin-offs, a testament to its indelible nature. It'll be a sad day for television when this CW mainstay goes off the air. Hey there, Sam. What's happening? Oh, nothing. Um, just the end of the world. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.